What's up people, this video we're going to be showing you what I think is the best shield you want to get in Elden Ring as early game as possible. Firstly, quickly showing the location in the four belfries area. There is four jellyfish guarding a crate and within this crate there is some blood grease and then also the jellyfish shield. We're going to take this shield to the Mowin Palace area and show you the special abilities this absolute beast wields. Now if you've come here specifically to see how to get to the West Lernia of the Lakes without having already seen the four Belfry Towers, do check out the top link in the description. This video is more looking at the shield itself and why it's so OP. Now why do I think this is the best shield in the game at the moment? It is a great shield and it's got the Contagious Fury special ability. Very high individual stats including 100% physical resistance you can see there, but you do need 20 strength, 14 dex to use the special ability that's available. Now to check this out we'll head to Mogwin Palace, the best rune farming spot in the game for me. I'm going to show you how to use the Contagious Fury. Now you just press R2, which is like your special ability for a shield, and look here, so this attack, whenever I've come here it's always killed me one shot, even my brass shield hasn't been strong enough to deflect it, but Right there, those red spikes didn't get a scratch on me. Now basically the Contagious Fury buff has given us increased weapon power, buffs to your block and more damage on your counters. Now you know exactly once this has expired your jellyfish shield will fade away from its red to its regular blue jellyfish colour as you can see there. You just need to get your space and take that moment to reignite it. Now this shield isn't just so high in the physical damage negation area, it's also very good in the magic, fire, lightning and holy realms. I don't know the exact stats on the buff for Contagious Fury provides, but I can tell you the strikes I'm throwing right now are very strong compared to usual. With the Contagious Fury buff, as soon as you dual wield your weapon, the buff will expire. As you see, the jellyfish shield will return to your back and fade to its blue colour. And aside from the stats and attributes the shield provides, look how cool it is aesthetically on your back. Hopefully this video has helped someone. Once I found this jellyfish shield, my journey in Elden Ring has just been much smoother. I wish I found this earlier and it's definitely the shield of choice. Gonna round off the video looking at the jellyfish shield stats again. I'm trying to find a flaw, but honestly, even its weight is only eight, so that's keeping your equip load low. I'm still on that medium load with those fast dodge counters. Don't be shy if you've made it this far. Let me know in the comments what you think on the jellyfish shield or if you have anything bad to say on it. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.